Cover weather and traffic every 10 minutes on KVOI 2 News this morning. Kelsey is off today, but mm -hmm. the former synchronized swimmer, we'll have to let, oh, her, yeah. let her know about that. I think, I mean, and, I, and not coming from a swimming background like she does, I think that'd be so much fun. Yeah, be fun, challenging. If it's yeah, around here, it'd be we'll have hard. to find out. I know, I was like, let's get that to Boise. We'll yeah. see. Sounds see how fun. long it takes. <laughs> All right, yeah. but we're going to be seeing some other water this weekend, right, in the form of rain? Yeah, there's the potential for some showers here these next uh, couple of days. I think between this evening and tomorrow could see some raindrops All out right. there for the first part of the weekend. Mostly we'll notice a big difference in the temperatures by tomorrow and some wind in there too. So a little bit of everything coming our way. For this morning though, temperatures are very mild. We're in the upper 50s to mid 60s. Things could cool off just a touch as we head toward uh, sunrise this morning. 67 degrees in Caldwell though and 64 in Meridian. McCall at 44 degrees this morning. Daytime highs today will climb into the 80s, but if you look at the numbers off to our west, unfortunately, that's the direction our temperatures are headed. So uh, there's about a good uh, 20, 25, 30 degree difference between some of these spots you see here in the Intermountain West compared to what we're seeing out on the coastline. So that hints uh, that some changes are coming our way. For this morning, we're already seeing a little bit of cloud cover lifting in, but mostly clear skies out there for this morning. But we are starting to see a little bit of shower activity flaring up in southeast Oregon and southwest Idaho. So especially on the other side of the border, uh, going to wake up to some rain this morning. But overall, warm today. We're going to hold on to that summer-like feel for one more day uh, before we get this cold front coming into play here and we'll watch for this to move in from the west. What it's going to do is slide this warm air out east and push in instead some cooler air behind it. So that's going to make all the difference as far as the temperatures for tomorrow. We're also going to notice some stormy conditions moving in from the southwest before that point. So that's where we could see the potential for some showers and thunderstorms later today. So for the most part, I think this morning could see a few isolated showers here and there, but most of that precipitation looking to hold off until around the dinner hour. So we're going to stay to be safe late afternoon through the evening could see some of these uh, excuse me, storms flaring up, but for the most part, I think we'll stay mostly to partly cloudy throughout the day. Some of these storms, if they drive through from the southwest, depending on where they hit, they could be strong at times, packing a punch in a sense, uh, carrying gusty winds up toward 50 miles an hour and also some heavy downpours and uh, small hail too. So that is a possibility as we get going with the evening, maybe later on into the night tonight. So just be aware that for your Cinco de Mayo plans, just a slight chance of that, but there is that possibility as we get going with the evening and overnight tonight. Showers could continue on and off throughout the day tomorrow as well. So we're kind of just looking at hit or miss showers in and around the time of the Boise State commencement ceremony, of course, and into the afternoon too. Could see some of these lifting in around the dinner hour as well before clearing out as we head into Sunday. So overall, kind of one of those hit or miss days with the showers tomorrow. Sunday does look overall drier than we're clearing out for Monday. Today's forecast though, again, highs in the low 80s. So enjoy the sunshine. It'll be there for most of the morning and into the afternoon, uh, but a good mix of sun and clouds with those storms possible. I think more as we head into the evening tonight. Temperatures will stay in the 70s, a warm, comfortable evening. Lows tonight about 52 degrees. Your farmer's market forecast for tomorrow at the Capital City Public Market does look cooler. Mostly cloudy skies, chance of showers throughout the morning. Count on 50s, so maybe bring a raincoat or something a little bit warmer in terms of jackets to keep you warm. Shouldn't be too bad though, but again, daytime high only 60 degrees. The winds are also going to kick in tomorrow afternoon. Then we're back to the mid 60s on Sunday, so a decent day to end out the weekend and then we'll be in the 70s all of next week. Dry weather returning back toward 80 on Wednesday again, so looks like the sunshine is making a comeback for us next week.